Okay, so I did not film anything today for our daily video yet, and it's at night now, and I figured I would do something completely different, so I appreciate if you stick along for this, and I understand if you leave as well. But I'm gonna be doing a Premiere Pro tutorial on how to make um, a reel or a TikTok or like any sort of short form video really quickly within Premiere. So yeah, I'm gonna put my headset on, and either you get to be intrigued about a little bit of my workflow, or you stumble upon this video because you're actually looking to make short forms because you're into that type of stupid content. All right, no offense, I just hate it. Don't, also don't mind my uh, pilot headset. So first off, open Premiere, you're gonna import your media. So I just double click here. I'm um, already opened into the folder I want and you can select the files you want. So let's just select all of them and import these really quick. Okay. Now that all those files are imported, I'm going to first off create my sequence because for short form, you want them to be vertical. What I found to be the best resolution for my sequence, uh, I'll just show you here, go up to file, new, and then sequence or control N apparently. Right here for frame size, 1080 for your first and then 1920 for your second. And that'll be a nine by 16 vertical video. So. Now I go through my footage. So right here's our first clip. I'll just play it really quick. So he doesn't start till here, so I'm just gonna kind of drag until I hear him start. Right there, nice face map. Click um, I for in and then drag this clip to the timeline. Keep existing settings is important. First things first, as you can see, this is sideways and weird. We don't like that. So I go select the clip, go up to effect controls. I rotate it how I want it, so this way I'm just gonna rotate it left. And you'll see it's all zoomed in on his face. So you kind of mess and see where it actually is. I already know this is gonna be a 50 for it to fully fit the frame perfectly. And now we have it all set, so let's watch the clip really quick. Two questions I get asked all the time as a Lake Oswego real estate agent. So, there's the first part. I'm gonna just cut it there. So I'll just go through the clip first and make the rough cuts you know, where he says, um, cut it out or make it shorter. Because as you see here, this is a three minute video and we want these reels to be as short as possible. We don't even like to make reels a whole minute long because the whole purpose of short form videos is to um, snag someone in and give them as much information as possible. And instead of, you know, making a long informational video where they're gonna, you know, keep scrolling past your video. So I'm gonna go through and make some quick edits and then I will teach you the next step. I've gone through the entire footage, chopped it down to about 45 seconds, which is a longer video than I would prefer to make, but it just happens sometimes. So what I did for this one is he says at the beginning here, two questions I get asked. Two questions. So one thing you can do with reels or anything that is I think a really good strategy is chop up your videos as much as possible. There was a whole other section. Here he only covers his first point, his first question he gets asked. So, in, so at the end of this video, I'm just gonna put follow me for question two. One thing I do wanna say, in case you didn't know, as I'm going through these clips, you just press C to um, equip your razor tool. You can also go over here and press it depending on where you have your tools and such lined up in Premiere. So for this song right here, it has kind of a slow start. And so I wanna find where that first beat kind of comes in. Press I, drag it to your sequence. And then I just lower it to about 20 dBs, negative 20 or 21 dBs typically. Okay, now for this specific video, it's about lake easements. So prior to filming the video, I went around and filmed all the easements that he was gonna be talking about. So I just click this top drone footage, I scroll all the way down through all the rest of the footage and then hold shift, click the last clip, then right click and then modify interpret footage. And then you can go assume this frame rate and I want it to match the rest of the timeline, which is at 23.976. Press enter. Now all of these clips that were originally in 4K60 are now gonna match the timeline and be slowed down. So here, let's find the first easement. I find a good starting point of this clip, maybe right here as we're zooming out. Press I, like I always do, to start the clip until right about there, out, and then you can just drag it to your timeline. One thing I've learned is that to keep people's attention, you need to be zooming in and out of clips as much as possible so that nothing just looks the same. So I'm gonna select this clip, effect controls, maybe go up to 60. And now it's a bit different as you go through and watch it. We go real estate agent. The first is about lake easements. 
first off, there's over 20 easy So this clip is already about two seconds long, so I'm just gonna cut it there, and you get to see you know, a lake easement right off the bat. Here's one with a boat passing by, great. Take a small clip of that, and go right next to it. So he says 20 easements on Lake Oswego. It's a great time to be flashing up easements over the screen. This one's a little bit shaky, so I might actually go to effects. I have it favorited, or you can just type it in, warp, stabilizer, just drag that onto the clip. And it'll take a few seconds to analyze the background and make sure that clip is nice and steady. So now that you kind of get the format of how I go through this, I'm gonna quickly finish out this clip and then show you how I end the process. Okay, so now that I've gone through, added B-roll, matched up the music, matched up the clips, one thing that um, you can do is once you upload your reel, you can have the Instagram effect where it does the text on the screen for you, or you could do something like I like to do and go up here to text and then transcribe your sequence. Here, click transcribe. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna go through the entire sequence here and detect um, the words he's saying, and then you can create them into captions, edit the captions, and then here at the bottom, the whole time he's talking, there's gonna be words on the screen, but you can also just do that through Instagram. It's probably a little bit easier and less time consuming, but they can also get the words wrong and you can't fix it. So there's pros and cons to both. Yeah, that's basically it. This is a really fast way to make uh, reels and it's a lot easier than having to go through it on your phone. And then for us, we just upload it to Google Drive or something like that. And you can download it to your phone, post it, or if you have a way to post it on your desktop, that's great too. All right, uh, thank you so much for watching this quick reel tutorial. And um, thank you for sticking around if you are usually here for these daily normal uploads. I'll be back to a normal vlog tomorrow. And if you are new to the channel, uh, feel free to go back and check some of my daily vlogs or just other vlogs or videos. Uh, documentaries, anything like that, and I hope this tutorial was useful or at least intriguing for some of you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.